In this video, I'm going to show you an application in this Excel file that will generate the HIPAA 837 professional EDI document. So let's start. Okay, here's a generate button that if I click on it, will generate an EDI file. The data will be obtained on this spreadsheet named Datasheet. In this example, we have four patients, each with a claim. And having several procedures. We also have a lookup table to obtain the relationship code and subscriber information. In the generate EDI spreadsheet, we have data that will basically never change for all 837 EDI documents you generate. I'll now click on the button to generate the EDI file. And here it is. This is the physical file it created, and we can view it in Notepad. Now let us see the source code behind the Generate button. We do this by selecting Developer in the menu, then Visual Basic. If your Excel does not have the Developer option, you can add it by going to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, then under the main tabs, select developer. Make sure to check the box. Then hit OK. Now let us click on the Visual Basic icon to view the source code. So this is the source code that gets executed when you click on the Generate button. It uses the EDI Dev Framework EDI component. It is referenced by going to Tools, References, then select the EDI Dev Framework EDI. In this case, we are using the 32-bit version of the Freddy DLL, located in Program Files x86. If your version of Excel is 64-bit, then make sure to reference the 64-bit version of the Freddy component. It would be located in the Program Files folder. You can determine your Excel platform by going to File, Account, About Excel, and it will say here, my version says 32-bit. Now let's go back to the source code. The bulk of the logic in this source code is the mapping. Basically, mapping is taking a value from a cell in the spreadsheet and assigning it to a data element of a segment. For example, in here, I'm taking a value in cell row 2, column C, and assigning it to data element 5 of the ISA segment. 
the cell this line is referring to is this one row 2 column C and this cell in row 3 column C row 3 column C is assigned to data element 6 of the ISA segment and you would do this for all cells you want to map to a data element in the EDI document the instructions on what value should be mapped to a data element of a segment should be in your trading partners guideline now the data in the data sheet is referenced a little differently and here we are referencing columns and not explicitly cells each column is given a name so this column is has a name underscore patient last name and this one is underscore patient address one the program references the column by its name and not by the column letters for example this is not referenced as column E but rather by its name underscore patient city let's see how this would look like in the source code this is the syntax datasheet is the name of the worksheet patient city is the column name its value is being assigned to data element 1 of the N4 segment now let us say I wanted to add another address line here at this time this data element has nothing assigned to it so I would simply copy this syntax paste it here change the column name from patient address 1 to patient address 2 now we have column patient address 2 assigned to data element 2 of the N3 segment note that this change is made in the dependent section now let's go back to the data sheet to add the patient address to column so I would insert a column here then enter patient address 2 as a header in the first row next I select the entire column and then enter the column name patient address 2 make sure to hit the enter key for the column to take the name to take in the name to test what we just did I'm going to add data into this column now knowing that I made a change only in the dependent section I'll enter the data in Catherine Janeway's row since her relationship code says spouse which means she is a dependent I'll enter apartment 330 
now let's click on the generate button okay all seems good let's open the EDI file it generated and, and search for the word apartment 330 here it is Janeway Catherine apartment 330 Now you can validate this EDI file with the eFile Manager utility just to make sure everything is okay. So let's bring up the eFile Manager. Let's find the EDI file. Here it is. Let's load the Ceph file. The EDI file is going to be validated against the schematics of the SEF file. If had there been any errors or discrepancies between the EDI file and the SEF file, there would the message the error messages would be displayed here on this section but since there is no error message then this EDI file is good and that's how the Excel 837 program works it's a small simple program that you can modify to your needs for more examples visit edidev.com E-D-I-D-E-V dot com. Thanks.